Hello again. Apologies for the light. It is really rubbish. Um, so, as you will know if you've been watching my videos, I went to a uh, retro gaming market recently in Doncaster with Dave. To Dave. Big thank you to Dave, actually, for inviting me along to that. I really do appreciate it. It was good fun. Um, yeah, so another thing that I bought while I was there is this. It is a Space Invaders plug and play. I've been aware of these things for quite a long while and been wanting to pick one up, but waiting to see one for a decent price at such time as I had a bit of spare money. So, uh, yeah, I, th there was a, a stall with a chap on it who was selling it, and uh, I don't know if I know who this chap is. He he recognised me. He was the uh, the only person there who recognised me who I didn't recognise as another YouTuber. Um, so I don't know if he is a YouTuber. If you are, hi, who are you? <laughs> Apologies if I should know who you are. This is, it is always one of my... Um, my fears when going to do's like this and people know who I am and I'm like oh, I think I ought to know you um, like with Darren Sega Socks I knew I knew him but I didn't I couldn't put the name to him and same with this chap familiar looking face maybe he's just got one of those faces or maybe maybe I should know um, who he is hi whoever you are it was a pleasure meeting you and thank you for selling this because I like this so yes getting back on topic it is... who made this? Is this... Radical. Radical Games Limited. I'm kind of so used to uh, Plug and Plays being Jack Pacific now. But uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of big by uh, Plug and Play standards. Four buttons. I'm going to guess that these are for like player two if you're doing a two-player game. Largely, you, I don't even know if you'll need both buttons. But uh, it's got a lovely clicky joystick. I do like a clicky joystick. Um, so we're going to plug it in and have a go because well it would be a shame not to really wouldn't it and kind of render this video pointless as well. Okay bear with me. So you turn it on and you get that. Radica, not radical perhaps. Yeah. Excuse me. Wires. Right, okay, Space Invaders, Lunar Rescue, Colony 7 Kicks, if that's how you pronounce it, and Phoenix. Well, we'll have a go from the start. It's nice, crisp video output, certainly seems that way looking at it on this screen. Space in oh, proper Space Invaders sounds. Um, I was watching a video of a, a Space Invaders plug and play last night. Was it No Swear Gamer, or was it down the rabbit hole. Um, it's always embarrassing when you can't remember who you've been watching because I've watched so many. Um, yeah, and that, that Space Invaders was not good. This one, now that... Those bottom invaders don't look quite right to me when, they're, when, when their legs are closed. That sounds wrong, doesn't it? Um, but I'm, I'm not, maybe I'm just remembering it wrong. But the colours are right. The sounds are pretty good. I'm not completely sure about the firing sound. It's, it's, it's good, but is it exactly right? Not sure. It's... I like it. It's playing correctly. It's, it's playing how I expect Space Invaders to play. Something about the sprites, to me... 
I don't know, maybe my memory isn't right, or maybe the sprites aren't quite right. They do look good, they look close to how they should, but I'm not convinced that they're exactly right. And that might be a resolution thing, or it might not, uh, I'm not sure. But, uh, it's still pretty decent. Um, I mean, I've played some clone space invaders that are so ropey it's untrue. Okay, let's see what's what's the other. I think you have to turn it off and then on again to get to a different. There's no reset button on this one. Come on, get on with it. Lunar Rescue. I had a friend in Deansanger, little village in Northamptonshire, where I grew up, who uh, his dad had this. Um, they had a cocktail cabinet in the sort of in the living room really that that kind of had a strange layout there it was like living room dining ish room kitchen ish something or other I don't know all I don't know what I, I ain't too sure about this oh crap yeah anyway they had this in their house downstairs and it was it was a cocktail cabinet and it had interchangeable boards on it and he could swap between this and I think it was Space Invaders but I might be wrong it was it might have been something else actually something a bit unusual I, I'm not sure I don't know no I don't think it was Space Invaders whatever I played this but it was only in black and white he didn't have it in color so actually I'm guessing that the colors on here are simulating bands of cellophane or coloured plastic across the screen this would have been just black and white and that's what he had on, on his table it was what is that flashing thing are they things I would have done well to oh dear to pick up not sure or are they stars in the background I don't know oh I don't like that thing there's no speed control here so it is literally just try not to die and hope for the best when you get to the top to, uh, uh, oh god D will that thing just come and pick me up when I get up there not sure will I plow into it ah uh... <laughs> okay moving on Colony 7. I never played this one back in the day. This is a new one on me. Hello. So, there's something a bit um, missile commandish about this. This really could do with... Uh, oh dear, I've run out of bullets. This could do with a trackball. Maybe it had a trackball back in the day, I don't know not entirely suited to this kind of controller oh dear wow really okay and banged me right out of there I guess I did badly all right we'll have a go at this because I, I didn't play this in the arcades I had uh, a game called sticks on me acorn electron which was effectively this oh god Oh crap, yeah, I'm mm, not doing great. So, oh god. Yeah, some games really lend themselves to like a controller like this, and some don't. And this, I'm not sure. You have to have your finger on the button here to move to when you're out there like that. And if your finger's not on the button, Oh crap, wasn't paying attention. I like the sound effects. That's a really cool sound. Go away! Oh crap. <laughs> Game over. Okay. Is it last one? Phoenix. Love Phoenix. That's quite dark. Well, the background is. The rest isn't. 
So this is playing pretty well. I look at this and I think, unlike that um, Capcom plug and play, which I think had its own custom hardware, I do wonder if this is NES on a chip. Um, not, oh god, not completely sure. There's something not 100% arcade authentic about it. Um, but I might, I might be wrong about that. Not really sure. It plays well. Um, something about the Space Invaders didn't look quite. Oh god, didn't look quite right. Something about this. Um, can't put my finger on it. But it might. Oh. Oh god. Yeah. It is good though, as a, for a plug and play. That is fun, and I like it. Uh, it's a good selection of like proper classic old school arcade games. These are the games I I played as a young. How old was I? I guess I was about fourteen when I was playing these. Something like that. Um, real nostalgia for these games. It it's it's my favourite era of arcade games. I mean, I played the stuff that came before them, and I played the stuff that came after them. But this is where I really got into the whole arcade thing. So to have these on a little plug and play, it's not so little actually. Yeah, it is cool, and I like them. So, uh, yeah, thank you to that chap for selling this to me, because whoever you were, this is cool. Thank you to Dave for taking me to Doncaster with him, because, again... That was great fun, and I do appreciate being invited. Okay, thank you all for watching. Right, hit the subscribe button, or I'm getting naked on camera. Go on, do it. Right, you asked for it. Ah, you asked for it. Ah, ah, uh oh.